Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another memory spread and it's going to be for the week of March 18th through March 24th and this was the last week, well it's the first week of spring, but also this was the last week that we really got some um, rain down here in Southern California and so I have a kit that is called No Rain No Flowers from Soda Pop Studio and I just thought this would be perfect for this week. I planned it accordingly um, just because again this is like the last time that we really got some rain here and and um, this kit is so pretty with the watercolor florals. It's totally up my alley. So we've got a quote box here that says, hello, sunshine. And then this one's no rain, no flowers. Um, it comes with eight full boxes and then a um, heart checklist here at the bottom. On this next page, we have the gorgeous bottom washi. And those of you who have been watching me for a while probably already know that I'm so obsessed with this like wood pattern. Um, so this kit is just like perfect for me. And then we have four half boxes here, four quarter boxes, sidebar trackers. And then on this page, we have some functional items um, like the circle icons, movie marquee flags, more boxes of different sizes. And then, ooh, this looks new. I don't remember this thing. Um, so this is like a little, it looks like a little habit tracker but you can write like four different things and just track from Monday through Friday and then Saturday and Sunday is one box. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna use that because I don't think I have anything that I could track like this, but I'll think about it. And then um, on this page, we have the heart check flags. We have more circle icons, all of the text stickers. Love the text that she uses, it's super cute. We have another movie marquee and then um, headers at the bottom. So definitely quite a lot of stickers to work with. I think this is just her new mini kit format. Um, I don't believe I picked up any additional sheets. So her little mini kits just come with these four pages and it's so perfect for my planning style. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started by putting down my bottom washi and then um, I will build the spread from there. I decided that the bottom washi was a little too thick for my preference this week, so I go ahead and just trim it off a little bit, probably like a centimeter or so. I'm not super good with measurements, to be honest, but I like having a little bit of space above and below the bottom washi, so I go ahead and place that down once I finish trimming it, and then I just place down the quote box in the top corner. I chose the one that says, no rain, no flowers. Um, for this week, I believe the glitter headers that I pull in are all from Mandy Dreams, um, so I go ahead and put one down, and then I used a habit tracker to track my my working out for the week. For this week, I decided to switch up my pen situation. I'm still using a Paper Mate Inkjoy gel pen, which is my favorite pen of all time, but instead of the 0.7, I'm actually using the 0.5. It's a little thinner and looks more dainty in my opinion, so I actually really, really like how that turned out, so I used the same pen for the following week. Um, but yeah, I put down a quarter box to track my happy moments. That gold foiled bow sticker is from Planning Like a Pro, and then I placed down the full box checklist underneath that. I then decided to switch up the placement of my sidebar stuff and so I actually put dinners in the center and happy moments at the bottom. And I believe that was because I wanted that purple color in the center. And eventually I switched out the gold foil bow for a silver foiled one instead. It's also from Planning Like a Pro. And for this week I ended up deciding to pull in silver foil. On Monday, I decided to start by placing down a 10 millimeter bow washi from Simply Gilded, and that one's perfect because it has the silver foil. And then I used a quarter box to mark that I got coffee that morning. The silver foiled coffee sticker is from Hazel Sticker. I decided to try a new coffee that morning. I got the Cloud Caramel Macchiato, which actually is really good. Um, it comes with like a little foam top, which I've been really enjoying. And then to mark a meeting, I pulled in a bow paper clip sticker, and that is from Sticky Fingers Co. I placed down a full box underneath that, and then I used a half box to mark an IEP meeting that I had that afternoon. The IEP flag is from Lily Grove Designs, and then I used another glitter header from Mandy Dreams with a small little things. The grocery icon came in the kit, and I used that to mark that I stopped by the grocery store before I got home from work, and then at the end of the night, I just did some filming and editing. Those silver foiled stickers are from Randy.Plans, and I just got them, and I love them. Um, I also pulled in a washi sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams, and then I was having a hard time trying to figure out how I wanted to write and in between film and edit and I decided to go back to the ampersand. Moving to Tuesday, I first start by putting down a full box at the top. I used a glitter header with another quarter box to mark that I got some boba that day at work. Um, there's a new ding tea that just opened not too long ago by my work and I've been loving to go on my lunch break. Um, that boba sticker is from Hazel Sticker and then I placed down a laptop from the kit to mark a meeting that we had. 
We had another IEP meeting that afternoon, so I pulled in this silver foiled IEP flag from Shador Planning, and then underneath that, I found this green, I think it's a third box, and um, that was from Sticker Bloom, but it was from years ago, so I don't think she sells that anymore, and I put down a frustrated girl from Artbox stickers because I was feeling really upset about a situation that happened at work, and I put down a half box underneath that to mark that I went to Target really quick, I had to pick up a few things, and then I just wrote in a funny situation that happened when I was getting my Chips Ahoy cookies that I love so much, and at the bottom I put down a quarter box with like an annoyed emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. because I had insomnia that night. It might have been due to stress that I've been experiencing at work lately, um, but anyways, on Wednesday, Wednesday's the first day of spring, so I wanted to write Hello Spring in that half box. I also pulled in a gold foil heart sticker that is from Hazel Sticker. She has some really great foiled icons, and I just did some hand lettering using my Tombow Fudenosuke brush lettering pen. Underneath that, I used a coffee sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that I got some coffee in our staff lounge. We have a new Keurig machine, which has been really clutch. Um, I then put down a header and layered a meeting script sticker over it. That one is silver foiled and it's from Hazel Sticker. And I cut up a three heart checklist from my leftover stash to mark some meetings that I had that day. I then placed down a full box at the very bottom, and um, for this week, I was using a whiteout that was really frustrating to use. It's from Daiso. It's super cute, but it just doesn't work super well, so I do go back to my Tombow whiteout the next week. Above the full box, I put down a strip of the bow washi from Simply Gilded. I had cut that one out earlier. And then in the remaining space, I used a quarter box with a silver foiled film sticker from Randy Dot Plans. Then moving to Thursday, I first started by putting down a today header at the top. Um, I cut up another heart from the heart checklist I used on Wednesday, and I used that to mark that it was my dad's birthday, um, but I didn't really like how that looked. It felt really squished, so I decided to write it on my planner instead, and I pulled in another silver bow from Planning Like a Pro. To mark a meeting that we had, I used a quarter box with a bow paper clip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. I have been loving those bow paper clip stickers. They're just so cute and so small that they fit perfectly in those kind of spaces. Underneath that, I put down a flag with a binge eating munchkin from Once More With Love because we had a training at our district office that day and they had provided free food. So of course, I loaded up on as much as I could get, um, like two, three slices of pizza, like two cookies. It was ridiculous, but um, I ended up eating so much that I felt sick during the training. So not the best idea, but you know, when food is free, I just feel like I have to eat all of it. And I put a full box underneath that. To mark the actual training, I had put down a glitter header with a scallop label from Panda Bird Designs. Um, and then at the end of the night, my boyfriend and I just did date night as we usually do on Thursdays. And so I used a half box with date night emojis from the Coffee Monsters Co. They're so cute. Um, and then the date night foiled sticker is from Randy Dot Plans, and her writing is to die for. And I I love that they are just so perfectly foiled. And then on Friday, I started by putting down Simply Gilded Washi at the top. I then put down a full box underneath that and used my Tombow Fudenosuke to write in TGIF. That silver heart sticker I pulled in is from Stella Bow Sticker Co. Underneath the full box, I pulled in a glitter header with a half box that was from my leftover stash, um, but I felt like that one matched the kit pretty well, so it worked nicely. Um, I wanted to mark that my coworkers threw me a surprise party. They were so sweet because I was having my Teacher of the Year award ceremony the following week, and um, so they just wanted to do a little something for me, and it was so, so sweet. And to mark that, I pulled in another silver foiled bow from Planning Like a Pro. I then had a meeting after that, so I used a quarter box with another bow paper clip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. And then after work that day, I met up with a couple friends to do happy hour. Um, the Beer Girl sticker is from Kina Prince. She's so cute. And then the happy hour tech sticker is from Paper and Milk. I decided to put that on a half box so that there is like some kind of a background. And then when I got home, I actually made some more food because I wasn't really full from happy hour. So I pulled in a little meal icon from the kit. And then that night I slept early. So I just wanted to mark that in the remaining space. The sleeping mask sticker is from Planning Like a Pro. 
On Saturday, I put down the full box um, at the very bottom, and I did that first because I already knew that's where I wanted it. And then moving back to the top, um, for Friday, I decided to switch up the placement of the glitter header and the um, washi strip. And so I go ahead and do that, but I decided I wanted a little more space between the full box and the washi strip, so I go ahead and trim that off. The tool that I used is the Slice Precision Cutter, and it's from Amazon. Um, that's just what it's called. So if I forget to link it down below, just just look for a slice precision cutter. I placed the weekend banner at the top of Saturday and Sunday, and then I started from the bottom of Saturday because I wanted to make sure I could mark everything that I wanted. Um, Saturday night, I actually slept over at my friend's house in LA because I wanted to hang out with her that weekend. Um, so to mark sleeping over, I initially put it on a little things. I might've moved that later on, so we'll see. I then used a beer sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark where we went out that night. And then above that, I placed down a quarter box with a glitter header and that cute utensil sticker from Lemon Paper Co. to mark where we had gotten dinner. Above that, I wanted to mark my drive up to LA and I was actually super lucky I didn't hit a lot of traffic. Initially, I used a flag sticker with a car from Hazel sticker, but then I realized that I didn't have enough space to mark the stuff I did in the morning. And so I just consolidated the drive as part of the checklist that I just placed down. At the top, I put down a quarter box and I just used a Remember Script sticker. That is from K Stickers Co, I believe. And um, I just write down a few things that I did that morning. And one of the things that I did was um, get boba. And so I used another silver foiled boba sticker from Hazel Sticker and then pulled in a car icon from the kit to mark my drive. On Sunday, I first put down a Today header at the top with a Little Things. And that sad emoji face sticker is from the Coffee Monsters Co. I placed down a half box and then realized that I wanted to pull in a Simply Gilded washi at the top. So I go ahead and do that. And then um, I replaced the sad face in Modi and then the half box underneath. On the half box, I wanted to mark that my friend Lauren and I did a workout that morning at her gym. And then we went and grabbed some brunch. The dumbbell sticker is from Sunset Sticker Co. And the brunch date sticker is from Love Shira. I then put down the remaining full box that says Hello Sunshine, which was perfect because it was actually a super beautiful sunny day on Sunday. And after our brunch, we actually went to Target to do swimsuit shopping, which probably wasn't the best time because we were so full and bloated from all the food. But actually, it's probably not that bad of an idea because, um, you know, if you shop while you're bloated, you're only going to look better later on. Um, but anyways, that cat shopping bag sticker is from Echo Hui Craft Co. At the bottom, I placed down a glitter header and I pulled in this third box from my collection. I can't remember which shop that was from. And I also pulled in a silver foiled heart from Hazel Sticker to mark that I FaceTime one of my friends that night when I got home. I go ahead and fill out my sidebar because that's pretty much it for this spread. And as usual, I'm just tracking down my workouts, which I didn't do too badly this week despite being kind of busy. And then um, my happy moments and my dinners as well. So now I'm just zooming out and then I can show you all the stickers that I have left in the kit. These will get included into my leftover stash, which I will do a giveaway for probably in a few weeks because I had just done one not too long ago. Um, but always be on the lookout for that because they're just kind of random whenever I feel like I've collected enough. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think it came out so beautiful. Megan from Soda Pop Studio makes some of my favorite kits. And I also love to watch her uh, family vlogs because her kids are just so adorable. Um, but anyways, definitely go check out her channel and her shop. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. And thank you so much for watching as usual. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.